Hi, this is Ferris J and in this video I want to show you a technique to deal with worry. So whether you're worrying about one of your pets who might be getting older or having an operation or anything in your life, whether it's to do with your own health or your finances, career, relationships, family, any other people, this technique will be really, really helpful because worry is it's a really really negative way of thinking what you're doing when you're worrying is you're thinking of negative future scenarios and you're not even thinking of solutions to, to them you're just worrying you're just getting yourself all anxious and it's a real drain on your energy and energy system I've been using a really simple technique for some years now that's been really effective for turning worry around it's from the teachings of Abraham Hicks and it's called the what if game. So in the what if game, you take a negative what if and you turn it around to be a positive what if. So for example, if you had a pet who was gonna have an operation, the negative what ifs could be, what if he doesn't come to the operation? What if he doesn't recover well? And if you turn that around, the positive what ifs would be, what if he comes through really well? What if he makes a really speedy and full recovery? So can you feel the difference between the two of them? One is negative, can get you tense and anxious. The other is optimistic, it's much more opening, it's much more positive. Now, as well as playing this game, I've added an extra dimension to it. Being an EFT practitioner, I integrated it with EFT. And that's what I want to demonstrate for you today, is how to integrate that with EFT. So take something you're worrying about, a scenario, something you worry about regularly, to do with yourself, a pet, or somebody else. Think about it, and now rate it on a scale of 0 to 10. With 0 being, it's hardly noticeable, it's not really an issue at all and 10 being, it's huge, it's all-encompassing, it's as big as it can be. Now take a moment to write that number down. Okay, so with that, that thought, that scenario in mind, we're going to do the tapping. If you've not done tapping before, it's really easy. All you do is repeat what I do and repeat what I say. So again, focus on your issue. I'm, as it's a demonstration, I'm just going to give some very general words, just to give you the flavour of it. So we start with the setup statement. Even though I'm really worried about this, and I can't help wondering, what if? What if things go wrong? What if things don't work out? I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I can't help worrying about this, I keep wondering, what if? What if it doesn't work out? What if things don't go how I want them to? I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have all these negative what ifs, I'd rather have positive what ifs. I wonder, what if this goes really well? What if this is a great success? And I love and accept myself anyway. And now we'll go to points. What if this doesn't work out? What if things go pear-shaped? What if we can't find the solutions we want? What if things go really badly? What if things just go terribly? What if we can't make this better? What if it all goes wrong? What if the worst should happen? Take a deep breath. Now rate your number again on that scale of 0 to 10. If your number is a 5 or above, 
you can rewind this video and tap along again to that first bit or tap the points using your own words and tuning in to that worrying emotion. If your number is below a five, it's good now to start putting in those positives. So if your number is below a five, tap along with me now. What if things work out? What if things work out really well? What if things are better than I could have ever imagined? What if this has a fantastic outcome? What if things go better than I could have ever expected? What if everything works out really well? What if things go brilliantly? What if it exceeds my expectations? Take a deep breath and write your number again on that scale of 0 to 10 and keep tapping until it's a 0 and you should find by doing the positive tapping you should end up in a really optimistic frame of mind feeling really good feeling really positive and when you're in that state of mind it's much easier to find solutions it's much easier to find ways forward now you'll find more about dealing with worry about on this week's blog post at www.ferrisj.com and I would love you to leave a comment to leave some feedback if you've tried this tapping let me know how it's helped you or if you have another way that you deal with worry that's been really effective I'd love to hear from you leave a comment at the blog post please and Please subscribe to this video channel if you like this video and then you'll get regular posts. Thank you ever so much for watching. I've been Ferris J and somewhere over there is Sally the dog. Take care. Bye bye.